and bright as day, and black as night. Bam! Chimichangas are tight. Not a big fan of green. I prefer red. Like the color of your blood. Hmm, I'm surprised that's not green. Like the color of all the money I'll make from my movie versus your crappy movie. Wanna get the sexiest and greatest figure of all time? Then get your Sideshow Collectibles Deadpool at SideshowCollectibles.com. Link is in the description. Where are you gonna go for your toy review? Short long! Short long! Action figures, big movies, big news! Short long! Short long! What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Marvel Sideshow Collectibles Deadpool 160 Collectible Figure Sideshow Exclusive. I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending me out this review. You can buy this at their website. Link is in the description. So here we got the very first Marvel 160 figure from Sideshow Collectibles, and it's Deadpool, the Merc with the Mouth, and he loves chimichangas. Marvel Deadpool 6 scale with the Sideshow Exclusive sticker. One side of the packaging continues that same picture from with Deadpool pointing at himself, as well as the other side of the figure who has the shoulder. We got the Deadpool symbol on the top and bottom on the box. The back of the packaging has a really nice picture Deadpool with the Sideshow.com logo. And when you open up the box, shake, 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 you got a nice insert that has the Deadpool symbol as well as making it look like a big old target. And the sides of the packaging say Deadpool on both sides. Oh, nice. And we remove the insert. Here we got Deadpool covered in plastic, surrounded by foam because he's one ugly mofo. Well, he breaks the fourth wall. Let's break Deadpool out of the spot. And here we got the Marvel Comics Sideshow Collectibles Deadpool 1-6 scale collectible figure. This is hands down the best Deadpool figure we've ever gotten in and Sideshow starting off their 1-6 scale Marvel figures with a bang. Let's take a closer look at him. I'm off the bat, this is definitely comic Deadpool compared to his movie costume. He has a lot more going on. He has so many pouches, it's so ridiculous. But he is like ready for all out warfare. The first Deadpool head sculpt is a little more serious, if you can call it that. Really love the paint apps on here. The sculpting work is amazing. Nice black shading on there. It actually works well with the costume. And even though it's plastic versus the fabric costume, the only thing as you can tell the neck is just more of a red fabric it's not as dirty as the costume i really love the sculpting like especially around the eyes it definitely has that attitude that deadpool has and even has the little wrinkles around his head i really love the dirty effect in the shoulder pads it's really nicely heavy armored and then the texture is pretty much classic from deadpool he has so many pouches you can't actually put clips in there but they are removable if you want to take them off and he does come with two of these deadpool grenades which are really hilarious Hilarious. Uh, you can strap them on wherever you like. And yeah, more pouches. Seriously, dude. Overcompensates for something, huh, Wade? Hey, shut up. I really love the texturing on this elbow pad. Gauntlets are really nice. They do make switching out the hands a little tricky. Besides that, I really do like the paint apps and his Deadpool build. You can take off these pouches if you want to to make it more streamlined so you can see more of his costume. His sheaths for his katanas, which I'll show more of that in a second. These are also removable. You can take them off. I really like the paint apps on the sheaths as well. Now he's Deadpool butt. Hey, why are you checking out my butt? He also has holsters for his guns and see his other grenade. He has more pouches, more and more pouches. He has these really nice knee pads and he also has a little knife that you can actually sheave on his boots and his boots are actually really nice. I really love the texturing. Now for articulation, Deadpool has quite a bit. His head can fully rotate can look up that much and can look down that much with the neck joint actually it can move it up even more so arms could fully rotate the outfit restricts it just a little bit but not too much goes in and out really nicely rotates the bicep bends at two points at the elbow rotates the wrist as well as going out he does have the ab crunch forward and back and a waist joint belt and like bandolier and all that stuff will kind of hinder it just a little bit his legs can go forward that much it can go back that much it goes in and out almost through the splits i'm john claude van damn he's so good Rotated upper part of the leg, he does bend a little over 90 degrees at the knee, and his ankles can fully rotate the pivot forward and back, and he does have an ankle pivot side to side. Deadpool comes with a total of 10 hands, a pair of pistol holding hands, a pair of katana holding hands that's on them, a pair of fists, boom, fist bump for himself, a hand that's like A-OK -okay to this figure. I made peace with Fox for making X-Men Origins Wolverine, even though it sucked. He has a grappling hand and a thumbs up hand or a thumbs down hand, depending on what movie he sees. Thumbs up. Hopefully for the new Deadpool movie, thumbs down for X-Men Origins Wolverine. And he comes with pegs, extra pan pegs, uh, in case you break them. You do get an extra Deadpool head sculpt, which has his signature Deadpool, like, what? It looks awesome. I love his little tip right there. I got a tip for you. Why don't you put my head on my body and stop talking so damn much? And there you can see you can remove the peg and put Deadpool's head on his body. Thumbs up to that. For weapons, Deadpool comes with his katana blades. They have really nice handles on there with the black and red, and they seem like they're made 
yeah, the metal, but they're just like a really nice sturdy plastic and they're very shiny. I use these to slice up my pizzas after a slice of bad guys. Bad guy guts are my favorite topping. When you remove his guns from his holsters, by the way, that's a little magnet. Magnet, bitch! You get two of his Deadpool pistols. They have this really nice Deadpool symbol on this handle. It looks like it has moving parts, but it really doesn't. You can't cock it. Haha, <laughs> you said cock it. Shut up, Deadpool. But I really love the paint apps on here. These just look so cool. They actually have metal parts in them. As you can see, the magnet actually attaches to the gun. On this left foot, you can see that he has a sheath for his nice combat knife. Nice and shiny and also stabby for the bad guys. Deadpool comes with his whoop ass assault rifle, which looks freaking awesome. Even has an attachable sight that you can put on here. This thing has some really nice paint out. I'm here to eat chimichangas and kick ass, and I'm all out of chimichangas. Deadpool comes with this really cool figure stand. It has this kind of like Deadpool floor symbol and has the adjustable cradle. Now what makes it really cool, it has these added uh, stands for word bubbles. Deadpool is known for breaking the fourth wall, so I like that they added little comic word bubbles. You can see it attaches right in the back right here, little pieces. And you can have him say many different things like chimichangas or bang bang bang. He comes with quite a bit, like it says my chicken, a bad word, common sense tingling, B R B L O L, head pull attack, pwn, pouches, talking to myself again, fourth wall. Oh, I get it hot. No, wait a minute. He has little Deadpool little smellies. I love it. These are made to be reusable. You don't fully stick it on if that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. Oh well, whatever. Then they're just really easy to stick on. You just, you know, simply put it on and make sure not to put too much pressure. If you do it right, they're pretty easy to put it back on and off. Jimmy Chungas, mmm. And if you get this exclusively from Sideshow Collectibles, you get the exclusive head pull accessory. Just gnarly, man. Oh, Deadpool and his little hat. Oh, it's just adorable. It doesn't spin. I would love it if it spin. And he has a little hole right here. It comes with a support rod for a stand so you can actually plug him in here and that way you can display him with your Deadpool floating. Hey Headbull, where are you heading to? Please don't do this right now. I already see that you lost your head. You are giving me a headache. Don't get ahead of yourself. If I wasn't dead already, I would kill myself right now. You don't have to be so headstrong about it. I hate you so much. Size comparison time. So here you can see that the Sideshow Deadpool is in great scale with other 1-6 scale figures like the Hot Toys, X-Men Origins, Wolverine, as well as the Green Lantern from Mattel. Sam it's harder than this than the Marvel Legends counterpart. Sideshow definitely did a bang up job. <laughs> bang bang. This has to be the best Deadpool figure that we've ever gotten. And if we don't even get a Hot Toys movie Deadpool, this is a great substitution. They did an amazing job on the sculpting, the costume. He has so many accessories. Even without the Sideshow exclusive head pull, which is a really cool accessory, you're getting so much really cool stuff, especially the little word bubbles. I have so much fun factor with this guy. You can buy this at SideshowCollectibles.com for $229.99. Nine cents. It's a really great deal considering everything you're getting. The Sideshow exclusive head pull is sold out right now. I think you can get it on the waitlist. Link is in the description. Even without the head pull accessory, this guy is phenomenal. If this is what we can expect from Sideshow's Marvel 1-6 scale figures, sign me up. I'm all for it. As Deadpool would say, I give this a thumbs up. I want to thank Sideshow Collectibles for sending out this review. And for more, check out my website, SeanLongsLong.com, as well as HugeNerd.net. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links in the description. I'm Sean Long, I live long and love life. Well, that was fun, but I can go for some chimichangas right now. Oh, look, there they are. Nom, 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 nom. Hmm, it tastes a little flat. No one can say no one. I will finish what you started. what you say? I said I will finish what you started. Still can't understand you. I said I will